Hello, everybody. Welcome to SWF headquarters. I am, of course, C. M. Puma. And what I'm about to go over with you is a complete overhaul of SWF Southern Wrestling Federation. I've got a handful of announcements here that are going to make things better for everyone involved in SWF. First things first, I'm going to talk about attributes. Now, as everyone currently knows, attributes are set to 85 with no stat lower than 55. Light heavyweights and cruiserweights can have uh, one stat that is 90. The change being made to attributes, they will still be capped at 85, but there is no limit on the lowest stat. So all of your stats that you don't use, such as my performance, or if you're not a submission guy, your technical submission, instead of it being 55, it can now be zero. This is gonna give your superstars the ability to be stronger and faster and more technically submissive or not. The choice is yours, but the cap still will, will be 85. No stat has to be 55. Anything can be zero if you want it to be, as long as the overall stops at 85. Now, this next thing is something I'm very excited about, and I mentioned about it on Twitter not that long ago, at SWFederation underscore 2K is our Twitter handle. I mentioned on Twitter that Mason Foster, one of our roster members, has helped me in creating something that I think is just absolutely fantastic. Um, it's got a lot of information about SWF. It is our very own website. That is right, SWF Southern Wrestling Federation has its very own website. As you can see from the link on the screen, it is www.swfederation.com. Go by there, check it out. Uh, there are still some things we're doing to the site, like the roster pages. Once the dra draft happens, the roster will be updated. Uh, one of my favorite pages on the thing, there's only like six pages, but one of my favorite one is the championship history. It's got all the titles up there, what they look like, and if you click them, it'll take you to the history and show you who's currently holding them, how they or when they won it, and how many days they've held it. And if you click the link on the word won, so for example, it says Calypso won the Elite Heavyweight Championship at Crowning Achievement 2018. So if you click the word won, it'll take you to that video and you can see Crowning Achievement 2018 right there. It'll take you to the YouTube page. That is just super cool to me. So Mason Foster, thank you so much for your help in getting SWFederation.com set up. Along with that, we currently have Capital Combat coming up here shortly with a great set of matches. The main event, of course, being the Elimination Chamber matchup for Siler Jordan's Internet Championship. Right now, those participants are Siler Jordan. The winner of Corzo and King's ladder match, Will Steele and Tyler Adams with two surprise entrances. So that match is going to be fan-freaking-tastic. If I don't say so myself, I'm quite excited uh, for that Elimination Chamber. Of course, to stack the odds against the mouth, of the new mouth of the South, Siler Jordan, he will be entering that Elimination Chamber first. Will he be able to fend off five other men, or will he be the first to fall? We'll have to wait and see at Capital Combat. And as I mentioned, Alex Corzo and Hunter King will be facing off in a ladder match for the opportunity to be in that Elimination Chamber match. These two men are facing off in the ladder match because of their actions in the Crowning Achievement Prime Royal Rumble. Hunter King eliminated five superstars while Alex Corzo ended up winning the Rumble, Hunter King eliminating the most. So Hunter King and Alex Corzo facing off against each other for an opportunity to be part of that Elimination Chamber matchup. Some other matches we have on the card, Calypso versus Kid Hades for the Elite Heavyweight Championship. Jay Wolf and Bruiser Brad are going to close out their series here. These two men have been brutally attacking each other and inside the ring, outside the ring. It has been a serious, serious rivalry between these two guys. That will all conclude at Capital Combat, as well as Leo McKay versus Vice. 
Now, these two guys have been putting on some of the best matches, if not the best matches, in SWF over the past month, and they will face off with their rivalry at Capital Combat as well. Veronica Haas will be in action for her Maidens Championship against Selena. So we have some great matches coming up for the pay-per-view. Now for after the pay-per-view, starting the first show after Capital Combat, we are splitting the brand. That's right, Rebellion will no longer be the only show. We are now introducing Uprising. Now Uprising will be the first show after Capital Combat. Along with that, the draft will happen where the roster will be split in half, men and women, and going to Uprising or staying on Rebellion. Along with Uprising, we will be introducing new championship belts. The Uprising Heavyweight Championship, of course, and the Uprising Television Championship. With those two belts, they will stay on Uprising. The Elite Heavyweight Championship and the Internet Championship will stay on Rebellion. The Women's Championship, depending on where the champion gets drafted, that is where that title will be held. Now, with all of that said, we have a new tournament coming up. It is going to be for the SWF Tag Team Championships. That's right, they are finally coming to SWF. We have a handful of teams. We are looking for at least one more, at most three more, with the members of those tag teams competing on both shows as to we don't have enough tag teams to have two separate sets of belts. So with the one set of SWF Tag Team Championships, they will be defended on both shows uh, with those tag team teams. Now, with we have Capital Combat coming up. We have new belts and uprising with the Uprising Heavyweight Championship and the Uprising Television Championship. We've got tag team belts. We have the attribute change. I suggest we get those attributes changed out as quickly as possible to give your superstars the best advantage. If there is not an update to your call um, with the stats, then they will stay as is. And um, they will be stuck with the old set of attributes. So those guys that are constantly active, like Siler Jordan and Alex Corzo and Ryan Riley and Lance Romance, Vice and others, I suggest, guys, get those calls, um, change the stats. You don't have to change moves or anything like that, but change the stats, still an 85 overall, but any stat can be set to zero now. So thank you guys all for coming by SWF headquarters. I'm going to leave you with a few things to look at, the Uprising Arena and the new championship belts. I have been CM Puma, and we will see you at Capital Combat.